reason to move it to New South Wales. I don't know what is. Um, all right, Jared Walsh in Adelaide. Your time starts now. Guys, there's a reason why you got comedians on to do their pitches this morning because they are all a bunch of jokes. You are talking to the representative of the best state in Australia, South Australia, the best food, the best wine. The riders in the Tour de France are tweeting about coming here for the Tour Down Under. And more importantly, this week, we've just installed a bus lane so buses can move freely. It doesn't matter if all the traffic's banked up for the rest of the day, the buses can move freely. Come experience Thank Adelaide. You. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think delegates going to the G20 are going to be taking the bus. Certainly not in Adelaide. And finally, John Robertson in Perth. Your time starts now. Good morning, Bert. Look, first up, Sydney, quit your whinging. It's happening in 2014, and that's a tremendously long way away for Brisbane because time stopped there in 1985. And, of course, all the excess time was shipped over to Melbourne, which is why they can sit around drinking coffee and discussing art all day. It should be brought here to Perth because time stopped here in 1970. That's why our economy is still strong. Why, absolutely, we have full employment. Everyone who isn't working down a mine is currently on TV. And moving on from that, I wake up every morning, I eat a beautiful bowl right, of diamond washed nice. down with champagne. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, right, you. now, the final part of this segment is each of you able to pick up the most outrageous thing that you heard one of the others said. So we will start in the same order. Khaled, who do you want to attack? Uh, just all of them, but let's start with Sydney. Um, let's see, you said you had a, uh, you said something to do with Melbourne. Be, I, my favourite thing about Melbourne is that it's not Sydney. Let's just go with that, really. Yeah, this is the thing. It would annoy Melbourne so much if Sydney got it, but they don't seem to mind that, that Perth are getting it. Um, Lewis, in Sydney, who do you want to attack? Well, look, uh, since Melbourne's brought it up, I mean, <laughs> let's talk about the cultural icons of Melbourne in comparison to Sydney. What do you got? Fed Square? We've got the harbour, the bridge... Lara Bingle. I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> Lara Bingle in the harbour. Um, Pete in Brisbane, was there a particular thing that you heard, and I, I can't imagine you were listening to anybody else dressed like that, but yep. was there a particular thing you heard that you want to pick them up on? Well, look, I, I've got to be honest with you, not really, but I, I just want to say to Sydney, it must be pretty hard for you guys losing two major events in as many weeks. And uh, I think it's a prerequisite for the G20 Summit. And let me, here's one for you, let me G20 Summit up for you. We got it. That's all there is to it. And uh, we'll cook some prawns up later, guys. Is that all right? We've got a couple of beers here. That's pretty good, isn't oh, it? Oh, I wondered what that was. I thought you were changing your catheter bag. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Jared, your turn. Who do you want to attack? Well, interesting to note that nobody's attacking Adelaide because they know and have accepted that there is that no we chance you'll ever get it. <laughs> No, that's wrong, that's wrong. And we hold on to things close to our hearts here in Adelaide, so I have one question for you, Melbourne. We let go of things sometimes, but not this one. Why did you steal our Grand Prix? Why? Why did you steal our Grand Prix? It's ours. It was ours. Bon Jovi came here for the Grand Prix. Who did you get? Shannon Noel? Who did you get? Who did you... We got... All right, Khaled, yeah, just, you, you do have a right of reply quickly, Khaled. Yeah, sure. Are you holding an umbrella? Yeah, great pitch for your weather. <laughs> and RE Perth. By the way, we're really happy over here. Perth is actually the capital of Australia's depression. Um, I just made that up, but do you see how quickly everyone believed me? It's very viable. All right. Um, and finally, John in Perth, um, your attack. Well, I would have been listening to Carlet and his amazing faux hawk, but I was just on the phone to my stockbroker and I just bought grease. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what that tells us is you don't have much money and you have lost your mind. Um, no, guys, what it tells me is that I had used to have plenty of money. I invested it poorly. I'd like to currently propose marriage to Gina Reinhardt. It'll be ugly, but fortunate. <laughs> hey, Pete, just very quickly, one of the issues, of course, because as you keep pointing out, you have actually won this already, uh, the G20. Yes. Um, one of the issues is that you're going to have to have delegates on the deck lying with you next to your uh, esky because there, are, there aren't enough hotel rooms there. Hey, as long as they're drinking the right beer, I'm all for it. That's fine. Guys, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, it will be 2014, in 2014, and it will be in Brisbane, extraordinarily enough. So, OK, the, the Brisbane guy. You've got to give...